Hey, it's Joanne from Backpacker Flip Flops. This is my first how-to video, and this one's going to be a bit of the complete opposite of my traditional unboxing videos. This one is actually going to be a bag video, or specifically a wine fairy bag. If you have not heard about what wine fairies are, it's something that came out of the pandemic where different Facebook groups um, started to promote the idea of um, mostly women joining and you could post your address online and random neighbors would come by and deliver wine to you. Um, I've been on both sides of it so far. I have gone out and done some what's called dustings, which means that you have delivered goodies to someone. And also I have gotten the joy of looking on my security camera and seeing people come and deliver things to me. Um, when I was finding out about wine fairies, I could not really find a video that talked about how to do it. So I figured making a video showing what types of goodies I put together um, would be a great new topic for me to make. So um, in order to become a wine fairy and make a gift bag, obviously the first thing you need are bags. These particular bags I got on Amazon, most of the stuff I got was actually from Amazon and I will have a link to a wine fairy section. If you go to my website, which is backpackerflipflops.com slash favorites, I will actually have links um, that set up from there that you can actually just quickly click and order different items that you're going to see. So um, the first one I have is some gift bags. And these I just found were so beautiful there. Um, at first I was like, oh my God, they seem really big, <laughs> especially because I decided to go with some smaller wine bottles this time around. But I think that as I started to do just kind of some test runs and see what's going inside of them, it seemed like it was actually a really nice bag to um, put it in and it's all really sturdy. The next thing I also bought, um, these are actually made to go on cupcakes, I think, um, but they are little fairy silhouettes. And what I figured I would do, and I'm going to try and prop the camera up to do this. Okay. So I wanna open up these bags. And these I also got on Amazon. What I thought would make the bags just a little bit cuter um, is to actually take the stick that they're on, put a piece of tape on it, and then I'm just going to stick it in right here. So that helps to make the bag just a little bit more fairy personalized. I think that that is really adorable and something different than what I've seen before. I've also in the past um, taped some different things such as little butterflies on. Um, the other thing that I do tape on is a little note tag that tells the person that they have um, been dusted and I what I do is I write their name on it and then just write under it the words you've been dusted and then I take this piece of paper and I tape it onto the bag um, so I'm going to do that as well so we're just going to put this down for a second and some people decide to include their address on the um, when they fill out these forms I've done it for some people, for some other ones I haven't, but the benefit of putting your address on there is people do what's called redustings, and that means that they go back to somebody who has dusted them before, so they're kind of paying back the favor. But that's now what the bag looks like too. So obviously the most important thing to go in a wine fairy bag is going to be wine. Some people buy bigger bottles. I've recently decided to start buying smaller bottles so I can spread some more joy further along. Um, so these are some examples of the bottles that I got. And then I also am trying out some cans as well for the first time. And a great place to order um, wine from if you don't feel comfortable going into a um, liquor store right now or if you're not near one, there's a company called Drizzly and they can actually mail wine to you. So that's another great resource and one that I've used previously as well. So I'm gonna take one of these bottles and I'm gonna put it inside. Now comes the fun part. What makes this bag um, more special than 
everything else and is going to further enhance the recipient's um, day when they get to open it. So some of the other goodies that I include, I bought these Hawaiian Lays and I'm going to add one of those into the bag too. Occasionally I will also put in a mug and some Starbucks coffee if it's someone I know and they really like coffee. Um, and then I also, just to make it a little bit nicer, we'll put a little bit of stuffing in the bottom. It's a little hard to do with one hand. But that's essentially what it will look like. And then I just put that in there and then I will dump that into the bag. I also might include something fun, such as some socks, um, some that are different fun, springy types. Um, I also have these um, cards that are self-affirmation cards. These ones are done through the Re -war, We War project, um, and there's a whole bunch of them. And so that's just a cute little thing to throw in. I also add in bath bombs, so I ordered a large set from Amazon and then I got these cute little bags to put them inside and I'm just going to dump one of those into the bag. Something else that I ordered from Amazon is little wine charms. So I, um, I love travel so I decided to get little travel themed wine charms and then you also get the hook to put them on. I bought little bags to put them inside. And then I got nicer gift bags to add them into as well. And then so the final project looks something like this. And that also is going to go inside the bag. Sometime I'll also include some stuff like um, cool jewelry as well. Um, then I also get different snacks. I found some cool snack packs available on Amazon. So I'm just going to grab one of these bags of snacks and add that in here as well. Um, and then some of the newer things I'm venturing to explore. I uh, made these tiny little gift bags. <laughs> They've got little cocktail so samplings and then little plastic shot glasses and then some stirs as well. And I just put them inside of a little bag, put a ribbon on it to make it feel more special. And that's going to go in there. Um, I also have some different um, napkins that have some different alcoholic <laughs> um, phrases or remarks on side of them. And what I actually do is I take these, put them inside of a bigger cowboy boot, which is a little hard to do with one hand, and then I will stick a larger set of mixers inside of there. So that makes this really cute um, extra gift as well. And then I also include something really tall to stick out of the bag as well. So I got these um, spinning wheels on Amazon. I also got these little um, fairy sticks and then also some sticks like this as well so something just really cute to add a little bit of emphasis to the bag so I'm going to put one of these inside of our little fairy bag here and that is the entire bag so the person that's getting this is going to have inside a small little cocktail mix they've got a small bottle of wine, they've got some snacks, they've got a cute Hawaiian lei, they've got a lot of different things available. So um, what I do then is I plot out somewhere around 10 addresses of people that I'm going to go visit and I just have all the bags stacked up like this, put them in my car and I make my way. So um, they are really fun to make. They are even more fun to receive as well. So if you haven't checked out the Wine Fairies, um, it's great to just start off with a general Facebook search, um, searching for Wine Fairy and either your like county name or town name if you live in a larger town, and then just go to fun on Amazon. It doesn't have to be expensive. I know some um, groups I'm in, people buy even like entire cases of wine and I just go smaller and um, I just want to spread more joy and that means going to multiple houses. <laughs> so if you have any questions about wine fairies, feel free to um, drop a note in the comments section on here. Um, but definitely also check out my website, backpackerflipflops.com slash favorites and you can find links to um, a lot of these items so you can quickly just order and start spreading some wine and joy, joy around your community. 
Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. I figured I'll also start to include some unbagging videos, which is me actually opening up some of the goodie bags um, that different wine fairies drop off for me. But again, thank you so much and have a wonderful evening. Bye.